Uh, what the graphic you have here is the studies we made about nuclear ac uh, the acceptance of the public in France. The question asked is, as you see, does nuclear choice generating 75% of electricity of more uh, benefits than drawbacks? And as you see, the four are always above the against, and the against are, uh, or, are, are rather stable. As you see, the curves touch uh, periodically, and if you look at our electoral uh, agenda, you will see that the curves touch at every presidential election. So it's a political effect. <laughs> but the, this graphic, May, uh, you, may, uh, you may think that this graph shows that there is a little margin between the four and the against. Sorry? Uh, percentage of the total uh, people. Uh, but uh, in fact, this curve, we made another study in which you ask not people not if it's a good or bad idea, but how much they would be ready to pay to get out of nuclear. And in that study, you notice that in France people are very pragmatic in the sense that if you ask them if they are ready to pay 5% more for the electricity price, you have almost 80% against. And if you ask them for 10%, you have almost the, the total, the total uh, amount of the people saying no. So it's a clear, clearly a, a strong support for nuclear uh, what about public acceptance? What are the main drivers? And that I think it's, it's important in, in, for, for a country like Turkey that wants to go there. The first one is, is fully pragmatic. You have to, be, to have the people aware of the benefits, which are energy independence and the secure pricing, and awareness of the drawbacks, because people have to be an have to make an informed choice, and it, it, you cannot have them. Uh, sh show them uh, 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 like a, uh, a fairy tale. You have to tell them the drawbacks and you have to tell them the advantages and people make an informed choice. The second thing is clearly uh, transparency and uh, we have taken strong uh, steps towards that, particularly with the, with the Nuclear Safety Authority which is independent and informs the people and other structures. I, I will not go into that because it will take perhaps a long time. Um, okay. Um, so, another, I think, a very important element in the acceptance is that you need a national and transpartisan commitment. This is important because, uh, obviously, uh, nuclear is an area where fears are easily fed. And if you have uh, half the political spectrum that uses nuclear as a weapon against the ruling government and vice versa when the ruling government changes, you cannot work in a very long term program. And nuclear is a very long term program. So what helped us in France is that as well the majority and the opposition have always been very clear about the fact that both were committed to nuclear energy. And so that nuclear energy was not a political matter. It was a transpartisan matter. Creating this transpartisan consensus is extremely important because when you start a nuclear program, you start it for 30 years and you need it, the continuous commitment, whatever the party in government may be. So you need to make it a, a rational decision taken by the nation as a whole and not a, a, a political and partisan matter. That, I think, is it's a, very important, a, a very important element. And also, and last but not least, you need a social consensus. What helped us a lot is that in France, trade unions were for, are, are pro-nuclear. And trade unions are pro-nuclear because they see the advantages for the members and the advantages for the local communities. And that also is an important uh, element in creating consensus. Nobody makes the best publicity to nuclear than the people that work on it. So if the, if the people that work on it are pro-nuclear, you have won half of the battle of the opinion. The last element, and this is the real last, uh, is the, the way you 
inform the public. Uh, our uh, view is that you need institutions to inform the public and you need the public to participate in those institutions. So every insta a nuclear installation in France has, has what we call a local information committee. This committee uh, includes members of the public, members of the uh, non-governmental organizations, members of the administration, of the safety authority of course, of the operator of the plant, and these committees have large powers of investigation. They can call the, the operator to account, they can make visits on the operator's facilities, and that uh, is a good way to show people that there is nothing to hide and that they can have answers to their questions. So this kind of local information committee is a very good inst institution and should be generalized. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have what is called the High Committee on Transparency and Information on Nuclear Security, that has very high-level high members from also the civil society, but also scientists from the university, from the constituted bodies, uh, and uh, who discuss publicly and publishes its, its reports on uh, issues of uh, nuclear safety and, and uh, nuclear security. So basically that's what I have to say to you. Uh, as you see, uh, it's always interesting in looking what other people have done to, to, to dimension your own, your Turkish nuclear program, which of course will not be like the French or like the British or like whoever also. It will be very adapted to the Turkish environment, but we believe we have things to, to say and to help you to make it a success. And of course, we will be happy to cooperate. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mario. Are there any questions? If yes, please. Uh, thank you for excellent presentation. Why does the French government intend to reduce uh, the portion of nuclear energy in the production? As I said, uh, because uh, it was felt, especially after the accident of Fukushima, yeah. that having a 77% uh, nuclear production could be dangerous in a context, for instance, if a new nuclear accident was, uh, had happened ev everywhere in the world and there was a very strong uh, pressure, political pressure to stop our plans for instance for inspection uh, that would put France in a very difficult position. Also because our nuclear reactors are all of the same design a generic problem in one of them may extend to an important part of the, of the fleet and therefore put the country in a difficult position. So it was felt that 77% uh, was a, a figure a little bit too high. And if uh, the, with the development of the renewable energies, it could be a good opportunity, uh, giving, giving time to it, to go more to a goal of 50% and to keep it as high as, as now. Of course, this, this, this target can be discussed, 50% is a, it's a very political choice because obviously 55% would make a big difference. But clearly it was felt you have, don't have to take it as 50% or nothing. You have to take as a, the idea that we want to reduce the part of nuclear in order to diversify the matrix. That's all. Thank you. So I propose to uh, move to the next presentation. Uh, and if, if you have uh, still question, you can uh, uh, meet uh, Mario uh, during uh, the, the day. Uh, the next presentation will be uh, made by Frank Carré, who is the scientific director of the CE Directorate of Nuclear Energy, and he, he will speak about uh, the role of uh, R&D. Good morning. Is not on. Can you hear me? No. No. <laughs> there is a button.